Hello friends, this is Barbara from Wigs and Fluff. Now in today's video, I'm going to be presenting Brunette Showcase. And I have the first one on right now. These are lovely brunettes and you're going to love them. So let's just get into it. Now I have eight of them. And today I'm going to do it with my voice, with speaking. Yesterday I did the Pixies with no talking and just went through them. I hope that was easy enough for you to keep up with which one is which. But today, I'm gonna to talk. So, anyways, the first one is the Diana. This is one of my very favorite brunettes in Caramel Kiss by Aesthetica. This is a lovely wig. Now, I've had this wig for more than six months, it seems, more than six months. I forget when I bought it, but maybe a year. And it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful wig. And every time I wear it, people just are crazy about the Diana and the Caramel Kiss color. All of these gold highlights are just amazing. So let me turn around and show it to you because I can get my chair right. This is the Diana by Aesthetica in Caramel Kiss. All right, the next one. Is the Jessica by Aesthetica. This is the Jessica, the lovely Jessica. This is what you use for Jessica only on the top, right up here. No touching the curls, except to do this way with them. Oh, the Jessica is beautiful. Now the Jessica is in RH268, RH268 or golden brown with golden blonde highlights. Golden blonde, golden brown with golden blonde highlights. That's how you deal with the Jessica. You just comb it a little bit with your rat tail comb. That's all you need for this. Don't need any other products. And I've had Jessica for quite some time and she's just beautiful and gorgeous. So I'm gonna turn around and show you the back of her. And the side. And there she is, just beautiful. This is a golden brown color with golden blonde highlights. Just like Diana, just as beautiful Diana, but with the curls. I really like this one very, very much. So this is the Jessica by Aesthetica. Really loving this wig, very pretty. Now, the next one on the list is the Out the Door. by Eva Gabor and Honey Pecan. Now this is a little short one. Um, I recently got this one in. This is a little short boy cut pixie type, actually, but it's in Golden Pecan. It has a little bit of a lace front but not a big lace front. And the bangs want to be dealt with. That's what it wants, because it's got all of this right up in here that you can make pretty and do what you want with. So this is the out the door. A very cute, lovely little boy cut. Now then, I'm gonna turn around Show you the back. Oh, there we go. There we go. Very, very pretty. Very, very beautiful. I love this one. This is the out the door. Great for summer. Just perfect for summer. And the color is um, Honey Pecan. SS Honey Pecan. And it's got rooting. So. 
You can tell that when I'm talking, I'm gonna give you a lot more information. I just can't help it. I love these wigs. <laughs> I love these wigs. The next one is On Your Game. And this is one that's been a favorite of a lot of people. They really liked the On Your Game. And I've gotten a lot of compliments wearing it out as well. This does have a lace front, beautiful features. Look at that beautiful color. This is Cinnabar, Cinnabar. Really beautiful, beautiful wig. And when I do the videos like this, you can see me styling it and combing it out. You can see what I do to style the wig. Now this is a lovely wig that you can brush and you can comb. So it's not a real problem in that direction. Now I think that I had just left myself a few bangs. I cut myself a few bangs, I believe. And I'm not getting any results today. I had it down good the other day. If I can find the bangs. There we go. There we go. So anyways, this is Out the Door by Eva Gabor. A lovely, lovely color of cinnabar. Gorgeous wig, beautiful, lovely, stylish, and you'll really like it. This is the Cinnabar by, this is the Color Cinnabar and On Your Game by Raquel Welch. So. And also when I talk, it takes longer to do these wigs because I want to talk about them. I can't help it. I like them. Now the next one is the Victoria now, yesterday, she was in the Pixie lineup, but in the Vanilla Butter. This is my Victoria in Golden Nutmeg. This is by Envy. Just a plain little wig. No big, huge features, but just gorgeous. Any way you look at it, just a beautiful, beautiful wig. All right, there we go. gorgeous wig. I'm going to use my mirror on this one because I want to see the back that I've done it right. Yeah, there it is. And you can see how beautiful that is. Just gorgeous, gorgeous. Very beautiful wig. This is the Victoria by Envy. And this is in the color uh, Golden nutmeg golden nutmeg so it's uh brown with that blonde over the top of it it just makes it so beautiful all right next one whoops there goes my hair my bio hair is a mess i know can't help it now the next one is going to be the glamour wig by main attraction in nutmeg, in the color nutmeg. Now this is a longer wig. Longer wig, but very beautiful. Long, gorgeous brown hair. If you're into long, gorgeous brown hair, you'll like this one. Gorgeous hair. And you know me, I love the long wigs. <laughs> I'm a fan, I'm a fan of the long wigs. But when I do this, when I'm talking, you do have to sit through me primping and fixing that wig. 
fixing the bangs, fixing the top, all the things that I do. But this one's a gorgeous wig. I'm gonna use my mirror again. Look how pretty that is in the back. Gorgeous wig, gorgeous wig. How pretty it falls in that gorgeous nutmeg color. And this is one that I would absolutely wear in a ponytail, just like this. This would be a great low pony wig. Oh, I don't know what happened to my, well, I used to have one around here. Don't know what happened to my scrunchie. But anyways, I usually keep one right out there. But you know what I mean. This is a great little ponytail wig. I don't know about the side pony. It may work in a side pony. You may have to put some bobby pins in there. But older women can wear long wigs. They can. You can wear them. You can use them for updos, ponytails, side ponies, and the such. And there's no reason why you can't have a longer wig in your wig closet. And if you don't have one, you need to get one. And for whatever color that you would like. Now this is my brown one. And it is beautiful in this nutmeg color. And this is by Main Attraction. And the name of the wig is Glamour. Glamour. And oops, the last one is a new one that I've just got in is called Portrait Mode, and I really haven't put it on much yet, so I don't know what I've got here. I just threw it in the stack. So I think it's gonna, we'll see. It's got a lace front. It does have a lace front. Let's see what we have. This is just a brand new one, Portrait Mode, by uh, Raquel Welch. And the color is Bronzed Sable. Okay, I like the color. I love the color. But if I'm gonna wear this wig like this, I'm gonna have to have something to hold this front back because it just is, right now, it's giving me a really hard time. It's no fun to have the hair falling in your face. That's just my opinion, no fun at all. Oops, what did I do? Well, it doesn't want to go. It wants to give me a hard time. So, <laughs> this is portrait mode. Now, this is the first time I've had it on, so I haven't had any time to work with it or decide what I'm going to do with it. So, be aware that this part here tends to want to fall into your face with this particular wig. It needed to be cut a little bit differently and and fixed up you can twirl it i think i can use a clip there if i could find a clip which i cannot the only one i can find is a green one there at last so this is portrait mode so I can at least get it to the side where I can turn around for you. Now this is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous wig. It just, the front needs to be dealt with one way or the other. And I haven't, I haven't reviewed this. It looks to me like it's got six and a half inch or more uh, front on it. So something needs to be done with the front. I need to play with this one and figure out what to do with it. But I love the color. The color is bronzed sable, and it's just outstandingly beautiful. It really is. Now then, those are my eight brunettes, the brunette showcases. This one here is one of my favorites. It's becoming one of my favorites. I love the color. I'm just going to have to deal with it, that's all. Now, I wanna to talk to you about something else. Jesus, 
is coming. He's waiting for you. Jesus wants you in heaven with him. He really does. He wants you in heaven with him. He loves you so much. He does not want you to get left behind when he comes back for his church. And those that don't know him will be left behind. They will be. He is pursuing you right now because he wants you in heaven with him. So he is pursuing you right now. And he can't wait to see you. He really can't. He can't wait to see you, to talk to you, see you face to face and meet you. He knows everything about you. He loves you so much. Look, salvation is a free gift. You don't have to work for it. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to give a lot of money. You don't have to go and work your fingers off in the food bank or everywhere else. No, that's by works. That is not the way to salvation. It is a free gift of God. You don't have to do anything for it. Just believe in your heart of hearts. Just believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sin. Believe that. Every one of us sin. I sin. You sin. We all have things that we've done wrong. We're born into a sinful world. But Jesus came, was born, lived, and he died on that cross for your sin. It's like going before a judge and having the judge say, well, you're guilty. And you're going to have to, you know, the sentence is death. That's all there is to it. And then somebody hands the judge a note, and the judge says, hey, you're free to go. Somebody else has paid the price for your sin, for what you did wrong. Somebody else came in and did it, and that was Jesus. That was Jesus. Just believe that he died on the cross for your sin, and that God raised him from the dead, and proclaim him Lord of Lords and King of Kings, because that is who he is. Now that's my story for today. I hope you enjoyed the, the brunette showcase. Now then, in tomorrow's video, I will be featuring and reviewing the Starly Wig. The Starly Wig by Raquel Welsh. She's in the house. You will love this cute wig. It's a wild one. I'm telling you right now. It's a wild one. So that's my story for today, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.